How's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Welcome back to another game guide video for Mortal Online 2. And today we are playing on version 1.0.1.11. And who is this? <laughs> okay, so I just want to talk about the topic of um, moving your things safely across the world um, in future when you have a lot of things like let's say lots of lots of gold or some valuable item that you need to, that you need moving between different towns and so just want to show you what I mean by that um, so let me just show you I've got uh, yeah about oh, just a little over 50 gold from my time uh, hunting the scoundrels and the tribe raps tribe raps I should say uh, in the in the Chindrum sewers and so I've been basically grinding my clay levels um, here because like I mentioned in one of my let's play videos um, some time back where I showed everyone how uh, how much clay experience the scoundrels and tribe rats were were worth um, yeah so Chindrum sewers is a very good place for grinding the clay levels and so over time, <clears throat> so over time I have been uh, gathering quite a bit of gold. And so normally, you know, if it was just one, let's say maybe 10 or 20 gold, I would have you know, no problem moving it on my own. But because it's starting to pile up quite a bit, uh, you know, I'm starting to have second thoughts about moving it myself because uh, 50 gold for me is quite a lot of money. Um, it might just be a drop in the bucket for a lot of those uh, big guilds with, you know, tens of thousands of gold uh, in their guild banks. Um, but for me, you know, 50 gold is quite a bit of money. Royal Penguin. <laughs> um, and so, so instead of moving all this by myself, I will be opting to contact a, uh, a professional transporter service and so for those of you who may be sort of thinking the same who are wanting to seek out a transporter service that's uh, reliable and, uh, and friendly um, so that's what I'll be talking about today so uh, there's two uh, big uh, services or big companies if you can call them that in this game. Um, one is the Northern Bank, which is uh, which is run by Racknor. His name is spelled R-A-K-N-O-R on the forums. And uh, so he runs the Northern Bank. And so if you are interested, you can uh, contact him on, I think he has a Discord, or you can just private message him on the forums. And the other one is, I would say, is West Marlin Bank, uh, which is run by Ruben Ibaruri. And so Ruben Ibaruri is a very, uh, is quite a, is a, <laughs> I would say it's a household name in, in, in the Mortal Online 2 community. Um, Ruben Ibaruri has been running major um, uh, installations, like mining mining stations in the northeastern side of Marlin back in MO1. So I did a video on that where I traveled to his uh, mining station. And so these two are the big, two big names that I can think of. Now, if you want to uh, choose a, uh, you know, choose a different one, you can always go to the, uh, the services section on the forums. And so you can check it out. Uh, just go to the MO2 forums and go to the services section and you'll find a long list of um, uh, transporter services, both big and small. And so the Northern Bank run by Racknor and also the West Marlin Bank run by Ruben Iwaruri. These are the two big names that I can think of. And uh, so, you know, if, if you are interested in getting in contact with them, you can do that. And now I'm not going to tell you which 
uh, which transporter service I'm going to uh, look to for you know, to transport my gold uh, for security reasons. So I will not be telling you what uh, which uh, service I will be looking to hire. Um, but I'm here to see to tell you service um, providers in in the community who will do that for you, who will transport things for you for a fee. Um, so. You know, it's it's. Um, I think it's a good idea for you to get to know some of these uh, service providers, and and also I think another reason why you would want to uh, hire these uh, service providers is because, let's say, if you're transporting something from Tindrum to let's say the nearest town, which is I think Fabernum, which is still a very long walk. I think it's about forty five minutes by by foot, and maybe about. 15, 20 minutes by horse, maybe a little bit less than that, just that maybe 17 minutes or something. I'm not too sure. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a, I don't run a, uh, you know, like a time or anything, but just based on my, uh, experiences, I think it does take around 15 minutes around, around there, uh, depending on which, um, how you, you know, how you get, how you get there, like whether you take a direct route or you take a detour. And so, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. And uh, I think another uh, related topic. So there was a person who created a forum thread on the uh, on the MO2 forums and they were saying how um, this person helped them with um, building materials for their house. And that person basically spent, I think, hours and hours of just like cutting wood and then basically gave, uh, you know, at the end of it, just gave the whole stack of wood to them so that they could build their house. And I think that person gave them a number of different other, a number of other items as well so that they could build the house. And, and so this person was basically saying that they were, they were just so grateful for this one guy who spent hours and hours just cutting wood and then giving it to them. So, so, you know, I think, um, there are very good people in this game and I, I can definitely say that there, that, that this is true. And I've also written, you know, my own account of the people that I've met in this game, not only in Mortal Online 2, but in also Mortal Online 1 as well. And, and so if you want to have a look at that thread, you can. And so there was someone who helped me recently in Mortal Online 2 where I got ganked by a, uh, a PKer and and this person came out of nowhere and helped me and basically stood guard over my loot bag and after I went back to pick it up um, the person stood guard in a distance to watch over me and so I was very grateful for that and so I wrote that thread um, in a way to as a, a to dedicate it to them to that person so if you are that person and you're reading this or you're watching this video then uh, you know who you are, and so I thank you once again. And so, yeah, th so basically, uh, I just wanted to say for the second part of this video is that there are good people in this game, and so regardless of what you hear out there on the, you know, in different sites and whatnot, um, just bear in mind that in any community there will be toxic and rude people, and there will be good and benevolent and... Um, and helpful people who will go out of their way to help you out and sometimes in very big ways. So, um, so that's, so the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, I don't, I want people to feel comfortable, um, about, uh, looking to other people for their services and that there are people who can be trusted so that you, you won't have this misconception that um that all people in Mortal Online 2 are toxic and rude and uh basically people out for blood that is simply not true and um and so yeah so you can uh look to people um but of course you know you should take precautions as well you know don't just trust the you know and any random person you meet on the on this in in this game get to know some of the bigger names and also some of the people who have good reputation. Um, and 
in the same, you know, on, on, the, on the other side of the coin, make sure that you have good reputation. Because if you have bad reputation, then word will get around and you know, eventually people will know that you are not trustworthy and, you know, your reputation will, will go, will go <laughs> you know, in a uh, nosedive. But if you have um, a good record, if you have been a person who can, who, um, who has been someone that people know that can be trusted, then your reputation will go up in the community and, uh, and eventually, you know, opportunities will open up for you and, and, you know, people will invite you to their guild and, uh, you know, people will look to you to do things for them and that sort of thing. So, <clears throat> so it's important to have a good reputation in this game. And so that's, you know, that's probably the one advice I would give to all people, all players who are coming into this game. Um, yeah, so, so just bear that in mind. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to, yeah, that's all I want to talk about in this video. So, um, I will be bringing more videos in the future. So please do, um, so please do stick around. And as always, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So thank you once again for watching and hope that you have a great day. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Take care.